Hello all, in this video we will explore the transition from Game 5 to the second edition. We will cover the updates made to improve innovation, align with modern IT practices and ensure continued focus on patient safety, product quality and data integrity. Let's dive into what's new and improved in the latest version. The Game 5 guide organizes all appendices into four sections management, development, operation, and a special interest topic. In the second edition, changes have been color coded as follow. New additions are marked in green, updates in orange, and removals in red. So let's discuss in detail. Agile Software Development The first version of CAM5 focused on a step-by-step -step linear approach to develop computerized systems. But today, many systems are built using faster, iterative or agile methods. GAM5 second edition includes a new appendix to address these modern approaches while still keeping the traditional waterfall model for situations like using off-the-shelf software. This update makes it easier to apply GAM principles to both agile and traditional development methods depending upon the project needs. Second edition emphasizes critical thinking in the validation process, moving away from rigid box ticking approaches. It encourages professionals to use a risk based mindset and customize their approach based on the system's complexity and needs. Instead of following strict rules, teams should focus on adding value by evaluating systems thoughtfully, ensuring they are fit for purpose. This aligns with the FDA 2022 CSA guideline, promoting flexibility and innovation while ensuring patient safety and product quality. Second edition clarifies how to manage the software tools and infrastructure that support GXP systems reducing the need for full validation in some cases while ensuring that everything is still controlled and compliant. A new appendix applies to software tools like Jira, which are used in process that do not directly affect the GXP data. These tools do not need formal system validation. Instead, they should be managed through good IT practices and can undergo an IT risk assessment and procurement practice instead of a full validation process. This includes tools used in software development, support and maintenance activities. Next, Appendix for Managing Infrastructure outlines how to manage infrastructure within a regulated company or from external cloud suppliers like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service or software as a service. It emphasizes keeping the infrastructure in a controlled state through automated processes. For minor changes, QA oversight can be reduced if IT and QA agree on a standard change list so formal change control may not be necessary for low risk updates. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. These technologies require a specific validation to ensure their output are accurate, reliable and compliant with regulation. Blockchain, though it is not widely used in GXP yet, blockchain can provide high security and transparency, especially for tracking product activities and maintaining data integrity across the system. GAM5 second edition introduces guidance for these two addressing their growing role in automated systems. These two sections are updated, specifying requirement. Now user requirement specification and functional specification have been combined into a single appendix. This update reflects agile development and an increased use of tools and automation in capturing and defining system requirements. Electronic production record also has an update for including 
new technologies like cloud computing, blockchain technology, real-time report generation for better efficiency. The appendix also clarifies data audit trails and their review process. All these three sections are removed from second edition. The content for functional specification now move to specifying requirements, repairs managed as standard changes, service request or system administration task, which is now covered in operational change and configuration management. Outsource IS IT quality management is now withdrawn and updated content included in IT infrastructure. Hope you like the video. If you have any doubt or topics you would like me to cover in future videos, drop them in comment section. Do not forget to like, follow and subscribe Digitup Gain on YouTube. See you soon in the next one. Happy learning.